Hi, this is Allison, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little vampire crypt treat pouch. So you can see that um, you can fit a couple of treats inside, maybe a little mini chocolate bar, or if you don't want to send treats, you can put in some pencils or something of that nature. So maybe you have some kids in your neighborhood you'd like to make some special treats for, or maybe you have kids going off to school that you need to make some great treats. So uh, let's chat about how I made this. So I use the gift card envelope trims thinlets dies. So this is actually in the Stampin' Up! holiday catalog and it's used to make a gift card envelope. However, we're going to alter this part of the die. We're going to use this piece right here to make the little vampire crypt. We're also using the Merry Everything stamp set and the Coordinating Punch. These are available in the holiday catalog as well for 15% off if you buy them as a bundle. So great deal there. So to get started, I have some supplies here. Uh, I have a piece of basic black cardstock cut out with the framelit or sorry, thinlet. I just showed you the gift card one. I have 12 inches of the 1 8th Bermuda Bay taffeta ribbon. I have a piece of very vanilla cut at two inches by two and a half and a piece of typeset DSP. Uh, it's this piece here. I've just used a striped one for my sample today in the video um, and it is cut at three quarters of an inch by two and three quarters. So to get started, we're going to take the gift card cut out and what you want to do, you can see there's some score lines here. There's score lines here and here and here and here. Don't fold any of them, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I have a ruler here and I'm going to actually mark from this corner into the middle, three quarters of an inch, and from this corner into the middle, three quarters of an inch. So I've actually already done it here, but I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna put my ruler along the bottom here and actually the bottom part of this box or die cut is two and three quarters of an inch. So I just marked at three quarters of an inch this way and then at two inches. So it's three quarters of an inch from either side. Okay. So next step, you're going to take your paper snips and we're going to do a little bit of altering. So we're going to cut on a little bit of an angle from the bottom up to our pencil mark and then along that score line to the pencil mark. Okay, this is creating the bottom of the vampire crypt. Okay. You're also going to want to cut across the top here to create the tombstone looking sort of top. So we're going to cut the point off. So we're just gonna cut straight across the top. You can use your paper trimmer if you don't feel confident to cut a straight line with a pair of scissors. So next step, you're going to take your Simply Scored, and this isn't going to fit entirely in the frame, but you'll get the idea. I am going to score from my pencil line to the top corner on both sides. So we're going from top corner to pencil line, okay? So we want to line it up and score. And then line it up from the side. And score. Okay, so we are ready to assemble. This is actually really, really easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold up the bottom piece. And then on the score lines you just created, you're going to fold those in. Okay. Isn't that so cute? So what I did, you see how this little tiny piece hangs off here? That kind of drove me a little bit bananas. So what I did is before I assembled, I cut from the original score line, the score line we're not actually using, up to this outside point, okay? And you can do it on both sides. So again, this is the original score line that the die makes for you, and we're going to cut to this outside point. Okay, so next step, this is what it should look like. So this is your bottom, remember like that. So you're gonna fold the bottom up, 
fold in one side and fold in the other side. All you have left to do is put on some adhesive. I like to use the fast fuse because, well, this stuff really sticks and I really love it. So put some fast fuse on your project on one side. And look at cute little pouch. Okay, so really easy. So to finish this off, to, so to create it just like this one here, I just took my typeset DSP, put on a little bit of fast fuse, put it on this top edge like this. See, it hangs off like that. So all you're gonna do is turn it over and snip off the pieces that are hanging off if you want it to be in the same shape and then you can tie your bow around or you can tie a knot let's tie this one in a knot save some time if your bow or knot isn't sitting how you'd like it feel free to add a glue dot underneath i'm going to tie it in a double okay that. And then really easy, I've got this piece of very vanilla and I've got the good to the last bite from my um, Mary Everything stamp set. I'm stamping this in the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So get your image nice and inked up with that black ink and stamp it onto your very vanilla doesn't matter if you're going to do this straight because we're actually punching it out with that coordinating punch in a second here. But just to finish it off, we want our little vampire face to match our ribbon. So I've got the Bermuda Bay ink pad. Give it a little squish to get some ink into the lid. You can see I do this a lot. I love watercoloring. I've got an aqua painter here and I'm just adding a little bit of color to the vampire's face. Don't use a lot of water because you don't want your black ink to bleed. I could have used stays on, but I just had my memento ink close by. Okay. And then we're going to punch out our little tag. These stamp sets with coordinating punches are just fabulous. It's the, you know, time savings of cutting things out and it always being perfect. Really awesome. So all I did to finish this Put a dimensional on the back and then you can just sort of tuck it in here wherever looks good to you so there you go it is a super cute halloween vampire crypt treat pouch i hope you enjoyed it and have a great day Bye bye